and hydrous ammonia wagons are loaded at Marino Point, just east of Cork. Their lengthy journey first takes them alongside the estuary of the River Lee, after which they'll pass through Cork Station and then follow the double track main line north to Dublin. From Dublin the trains head south again, quickly leaving behind the suburbs and skirting Bray Head to reach Greystones. Here the colour light signals of Dublin's central traffic control system give way to lower quadrant semaphores, controlling the first passing loop on the single track route from Bray to Rosslare. journey's end for the anhydrous ammonia is the nitrogen Aaron fertiliser plant at Shelton Abbey, situated right alongside the main line to Ross Lair. There are normally three trainloads of ammonia each weekday, plus extra services at weekends when required. The standard train length is six bogey tank wagons with a barrier vehicle at each end. For safety reasons, the ammonia discharge area is actually some distance away from the factory and the two are connected by means of a pipeline. For outward loads of fertiliser though, there's a siding which penetrates right into the plant, first crossing the Avoca River, which is one of the main watercourses out of the beautiful granite Wicklow Hills. All shunting at Shelton Abbey is carried out by Irish rail locomotives and often the engine from an incoming ammonia train is used to shunt fertiliser vans before departing with its next booked service. Shelton Abbey is the principal source of fertiliser traffic on Irish rail and this means anything up to three trainloads a day, each with a payload of around 400 tonnes. 